My guests Jasmine and Erica have been besties since they met 10 years ago. Jasmine says their friendship was better than any other in her life until one incident changed everything. Let's see what she had to say before the show. I've been best friends with Erica for over 10 years. Three years ago, there was an incident. I sold swimwear for men and women, so it's swim trunks, it's cover-ups. She was helping me move from one storage unit to a different storage unit. The next day, I realized I couldn't find my inventory. It wasn't where it was supposed to be, and her and I were the last ones with these inventory pieces. So the next day, I called her, asking her, has she seen it? You know, does she know where we may have placed it? And just her reaction from that was negative. She came at me totally disrespectful, saying it wasn't her style, she would never wear it. After the incident happened, we didn't talk for a while. I couldn't trust her as a friend. I was confused about the entire situation. I did miss my friend. I forget my friend. I forgave her. Um, we moved on from that situation. I was happy to be a part of her bridal party, you know, the wedding, the new journey. Yet, it did rehatch Valentine's night. Uh, my boyfriend and I, at the time, started arguing, and then Erica jumped in our argument. She decides to insert herself and take his side. I was super angry. I have not spoken to her since Valentine's night. I feel lost about the entire situation. I do want my friend back, but I want the truth also. So I gotta ask you point blank, did you steal from your friend? I would never steal from any <laughs> like, of my friends. Okay. It's not in my character to do any of that, especially when I went out of my way to offer help to help her move without even asking for anything in return with my truck and my gas and my time. And when she says inventory, let me, let me explain something to you. It was a tiny waste basket. Okay, so it wasn't it like was a it wasn't like a very large. It was a little hamper mm, okay. that's impractical enough to even hold clothes. Okay. okay, I leave the hamper behind. I forgot to go back and check. That is my responsibility as far as offering help to her and then not being on top of it. That mm -hmm. I'll take blame for that. As far as when it comes to not checking on your own belongings at your own storage unit and doing a last inspection. She needs to take responsibility for that. There, there, there's a good, yeah, So there's... we're both, you know, technically. So what did so, you do when she accused you? Uh, I was really taken back by that. And I was more hurt that, not for her stuff missing, but that my character is now in question. Mm -hmm. So I took it upon myself to contact the, the police of that city. And I filed a police report. Mm. I filed a police report so they could obtain the so footage. So you're being the one accused. I'm being the one accused. But, but you I'm, still my went name, to the police. But I want my name cleared. So I involved the police. And I, they said that because it's her unit and it's her belongings, she needs to contact them and be on top of it mm -hmm. to obtain that footage. I gave her the case number and everything after I filed it. She got in contact with the officer. Did she stay in contact? No, because mm. she didn't care about clearing my name. When I asked her about why, she goes, well, at that point, my stuff was already gone. Okay, but my name, my character is still in question here. Mm. So are we gonna leave that, are we gonna leave that unspoken of? Yeah, and you made two made up after this incident. Yes. So what happened at the wedding? Ooh, so we're at, we make up, we make up because I'm getting married, um, I'm pregnant, I'm having a baby, and I want her to be a part of the wedding. My wedding colors, as you can see, were Tiffany blue. Last minute before I decide to go down the aisle, Jazz, I'm gonna sit with my date. The date who came dressed like Rick Ross, like he had on sunglasses the whole time. Yeah. He had on, um, he was more dressed up than I was and it was my own wedding. So oh, I was- so she didn't stand next to you? She didn't stand next to me at the wedding. Last minute. Mm, okay. So, um, and then I had to hear it from a bunch of family and friends afterwards. Hey, what was that about? Hey, what was that about? And it was so embarrassing to have to make excuses for her because here's the thing. Here I am, my own wedding, and I'm putting her feelings first. I'm saying, okay, maybe she's got stage fright as opposed to how I should feel. I always put her first. So what happened on Valentine's Day? Oh, so Valentine's Day, uh, well, Valentine's night, I, I met up with her and uh, her boyfriend, and they got into an argument. Things were escalating, and it was not going very well. And so I decided to intervene to make sure nobody goes to jail. I did not want anything bad to happen to any of them. 
So I intervene, and as soon as I'm trying to calm both of them down and say, hey, you guys need to come on now, let's stop it, she cuts me off and basically says, shut up. Don't think I know how fake you are just as much as he is. You stole from me, and I'll never forget that. And I was like, what? We've all been drinking, so I, I'm thinking, okay, maybe she's just angry. But to have the past thrown back in my face, like, like all my effort is for nothing, it's like, here I am calling the police and, and filing the report to get you the footage. Here I am making every attempt to clear my own name and show you that I'm not even capable of doing something like that to the people I care about. How do I feel about what she's saying? Yeah. Flawless. Have you heard it like backstage? Absolutely. Uh -huh. She's she's just the type of person she is very manipulative, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't say you're my friend and you're talking about how tacky my inventory is. I got I called, can't I got called a, a thief and unit. I don't have the right to say your stuff is tacky. I can't afford it. But you have the right to call me a thief? No. Why do you think she stole your inventory? Because I do believe that it was good inventory that she saw there to sell. She does this on the side. It's her hobby to sell things, use new. I could see her doing it. And even after that incident, I looked online to see if my stuff was being sold. Cause and I did you see any it. of your stuff being sold? I didn't. You no. did not? I did okay, not. then. Why didn't you follow up with the police? Thank you. I didn't follow up with the police because the storage unit already didn't have it, the camera footage of where there was no That's angle not true. where we were. That's not true. They okay. did have footage, yes, but they you did. had to be the one who obtain it because I wasn't a customer with them. They couldn't release it to me. They had to be to you. And That's I followed why up you with had the to be the one unit. following up. And I followed up with the storage. And unit. they said they didn't. They didn't have footage. No, they had no footage. No, Where no, we they left have off, they have cameras in the elevator, and that was it. There was nothing of the exit way where we were moving the things. There was cameras. So this is my thing. You both said you squashed it at some point. Why bring it back up? Well, it was squashed yet rehatched during this Valentine's evening because mm -hmm. how she just, again, wasn't being a friend and taking this guy's side, which is my ex-boyfriend now. I wasn't taking any sides. I was trying to prevent you guys from going to jail. Someone was going to call the cops. I had to intervene. But every so time... You're my friend, and I don't want to see anyone go to jail. Every time you come to me regarding your husband or something, I don't intervene What's that like got to do with this? Because you intervened in my relationship. Because I didn't want you to go to jail? I'm looking out for you? Erica, God forbid. it's how you did God it. Forbid. You always say you're helping, but you come off slick. Okay. You come off sly. How do you think she was helping that night? Tell me from your she opinion. She wasn't helping that night. We were drinking. Was, I'm not going to argue. We all were drinking. Okay. And she just was adding fuel to the fire, trying to... But I wasn't the one fighting my significant other in public. Girl, but you always fight your husband. Your husband. That's got nothing to do, do with that. this. I was See, looking out for you that night. And do I fight with him in front of you? No, that's not your business. What happens in my home is in my home. Y'all were doing it in public. When she asked you to be her bridesmaid, why did you say yes if there was all this underlining issues? I said yes because she's still someone that I care about. I still have some type of, you know, memories that we have together. Mm -hmm. And I love love. Like, I wanted to be a part of the wedding. And I know that she doesn't have many friends, so I came to her shotgun wedding. I did. That's by choice, honey. Because there are people like you that We already like pre-planned this. this. Mm -hmm. We already pre-planned this. If you're going to so. commit to go, why not stand up, though? Thank you. Because, first of all, there, it was a shotgun wedding. There was no rehearsal. There was no, there you're going to be placed here. There was seven months of planning. Girl. Seven <laughs> months of planning. That's not shotgun. She didn't ask me. That's what I'm telling you. You had on the, 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 the dress, girl. I, I know she asked. She <laughs> did not say, come dress. stand here. There was nothing planned. And I was there early. I'm telling you, there was nobody there. So you've it never was been a to a wedding, wedding where they say, OK, no. this is the bridal party. This is the groom's party. That didn't you happen at her wedding. That's what I'm telling you. There okay. was nothing professional about the wedding, literally. Okay. Do you want your friendship to work? Um, you know what? I did, but it's like the type of person she is, I see it's probably going to be back and forth. Then why bother writing into the show to fix our friendship? Because Let me no, ask you that. I did. No. No. <laughs> no. I did. No. I did. So then why write into me? Because I did want to fix it, but once she came on here still hostile about but when I bringing hear up that old thing, I'm taking your man's side. Like, I don't even like him. He's a SoundCloud rapper. I've been told you to leave him. I've been told you to leave him for so long. You see how she and wants why to keep throwing her out? But if I go but when about I hear her stuff family, like that, I don't want to do that. I don't have to, to talk that? about what her husband does to her and what he does Behind on the side. Behind closed doors. No, it's not on closed doors because, as you said, there are <laughs> right? Regarding your husband. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here. Oh, okay. That's why so we're you here. don't want to go there. Come on. So it, it's, it's sad because I actually think there was love here. I think that watching your video, that you're regretful for how things went down. 
But I think that once you got out here, you went back into defense mode instead of being vulnerable and talking because about Because I hear her want. talking down again about my inventory. If we're trying to move past it, why do you keep trying to talk down on me? What you know, you're, you're, you're inventory. Is it even happening? It's telling now. all of the nation but about again, my marital nothing. problems. Girl, you started bitch. it. You started this. My marital problems got nothing After to do she with about her cheeks, boyfriend. China. Why I'm, come I'm, then? Thank you. Bye. Why right into the show if you're going to be a fake ass bitch? Nobody's being fake. She deserves an apology from you for how you've been jabbing her over and over again. She does. She deserves an apology from you. You think so? I know so. I know so. I wouldn't make you give an apology if I didn't believe it because her character has been assassinated. Okay. You called her a thief. If my friends call me a thief, we have a problem. Because, I, I, let me tell you something. That's a big, that's a big accusation. Mm -hmm. It is. And if you really want this friendship to work like you did in that video, you gotta be able to acknowledge that that started off a, 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 a range of actions that messed y'all up. And you gotta be able to apologize for that. I could. Like, I, I, could. I would, I, good, that's good. Cause let me just say something. If you would've came to my wedding and set your ass down, <laughs> Again, there was I'm five a, people uh, there total. It was a small wedding. That's see, all I'm saying. All I throw on the jab. See, this is because the no, jab. she's making it seem like I didn't want to stand you, next to her. Of course, I would. You're throwing the jab. You're throwing the jab. You're throwing her jab. You're I was still hurt at that time. I know you're still I was, hurt, yeah. but because you're still hurt, like I just said, you're hurt. You're overwhelmed. You're throwing these jabs. I'm gonna go talk to Erica. See if she'll come back out. <laughs> I can see both sides of how things have happened. I can see how calling you a thief, doing these things have affected you. And I also even saw like talking about your husband. Attacking my that. marriage when it has nothing to do with this. Agree, I'm here, I'm here. That, that's airing out dirty laundry that, exactly. you know? Exactly. So that, that to me is a low blow and that's kind of unforgivable at this point. I, 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 <laughs> that hurt more than being called a thief. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> She's willing to apologize. No, I don't even want to hear it. I swear to God, I don't even want to hear it. You don't want to hear it? <laughs> so, she's looking right there. You can say goodbye. I'm done with the Jazz, friendship. Jazz, I love you, but this isn't, this isn't healthy. This is she's toxic. So like, this is oh my too much. Right. Erica, come here. No, which way? I don't want to see her. I know, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Stop. No, I really don't want to talk, Jasmine. Okay, we don't have to talk. Just give me a hug. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm taking responsibility on my part. We both were there at the storage. I just wish you would have obtained the footage. Like, that is literally it. Like, you know I, we went back to the storage unit for footage. But I didn't go to the police report. I didn't go follow but that, up But that's that. all irrelevant at this point. That's all irrelevant at this point. Like, this was supposed okay. to be... What do you want to apologize to her for? Be clear about it. I know it was my storage unit. It was my inventory. I should have been double-checking, triple-checking before we even left for the night, mm -hmm. honestly. And I'm sorry again. I keep throwing this back up in your face. Definitely want to apologize about your marriage. That's fine. To your that's fine. I know what you go through, and you always that's confide fine. in me. I shouldn't throw that in your face. I shouldn't have. Got it. Now, for you, I know when you're hurt, you, I've seen it when you're out there. When you're hurt, you do find the shadiness in you. You know it. You, you go with the little things. That's possible. Yes. <laughs> it's, we know it. I caught it quickly. You understand? I've been around a lot of shady queens. I know how to get, get a little something in there, get a little something in there, okay? And so I know that's in retaliation to when you feel hurt. But what I want to tell you is that you shouldn't do that because all that does is then it takes down your character. But you two, this friendship, I believe, is toxic. And I wish that I could have been able to figure it's it out. It's toxic. It's too toxic at this yeah. point. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I think I could have been helped this out, but once we went to the marriage part, mm -hmm. that just took it a turn. And that's just the real of it. So I wish y'all the best of luck. Thank you, Karamo. Thank yeah. you. I wish you the best of luck Thank as you. well. Yeah. Good luck to y'all both. Y'all can step out there. Thank you. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.